Good morning, Interwebs. Today is the day that we break camp and pack up and clean. And it's early and it's supposed to snow today. Do you have any words of wisdom, Cracker Turn Tora? Nah, it's too early for that stuff. Wear pants. We figured this out this morning. Yeah. Pants are important. The best pants. Only the best pants. But wear them. It's bettering. It's better for your peopling if you have pants on out there in the world. lumber that was donated for this mission we talked to the sawmill that provided it and they said they are 100 percent cool with us using it to build caleb house and so we're loading it onto this trailer right now and if we need it for more projects around here we'll use it and if we don't we'll build caleb house with it so that's very cool so it's a good day to pack up and so we're packing up um, we got the white trailer um, loaded down with stuff, just stuff, field kitchen stuff and chainsaws and blah, blah, blah. And then we've got the gooseneck loaded down with lumber from the sawmill. Thank you again, brother. And then we've got the dump trailer, which is going to get loaded up with more um Field kitchen stuff and it's like personal effects and uh, the fire department that was destroyed has gone out to salvage and they gave us the gave us we did not take nor ask for they gave us the big electrical panels out of there for use at Caleb House so we've got some big electrical panels and stuff that's got to go in the back of this load that up and then when we come back with the dump truck with the uh pinnel trailer on the dump truck we will get the skid steer and the one two three four five buckets grapples and forks attachments for the skid steer on the back of it so yeah Logistics, bro. Logistics wins wars. Like, key takeaways from deployments. Logistics wins wars. What are you going to eat? Where are you going to sleep? Where are you going to poop? How are you going to wash your hands? How are you going to wash your body? Where's your camo? Like, stuff that I guess to us is like really fairly basic, simple stuff that to uh, other people is not. It's like advanced level stuff. I'm like, come on, man. Basic stuff. Basic stop bring your radio. How are you gonna transport all your toys? Where are you gonna put it? So that's what we're doing today. We're packing up, playing a logistics game, figuring out who's gonna move what, where, when, and how. And uh yeah. Yeah. And the American Lumberjack Tree Service is packing up their their toys as well. So forth and so on. Getting uh, stuff into the dump trailer now. A lovely day. Great day to pull off site.
Just a little slick. Yeah. How? How? Well, okay, here we go. We're gonna go ahead and move the dump trailer with the bobcat, except it's a caterpillar <laughs> right there. It's the tracky skid steer. What do you say there, Mr. Bob? It's uh, surely snowing a whole it's, bunch over here. You're right, it's rain, homie. It's uh, <laughs> she's coming down, but had almost uh, four inches or so thus far this morning. It's not even 10 a.m. It's definitely snowing, don't you? It's know? snowing pretty hard, you know. You know how it is. All right, well, we'll get into the track machine and move this trailer and put it back where it come from and maybe go inside and have a cup of coffee. Well, while we wait for the truck to warm up, it's uh, 21 degrees and it actually feels way warmer than that because there's something about uh, a little bit of snow that makes the ambient temperature feel warmer than it is. Maybe it knocks all the humidity out of the air. I don't know. We got the uh, church next door all cleaned up that we had a bunch of volunteers sleeping in. Got all the blow up mattresses and everything rolled up, stashed and shut up windshield, ready to go and shut up windshield and uh got the firehouse uh, cleaned up and organized and packed up and i took a nap it's just kind of uh you know pulling stakes crossing all our t's dotting all of our i's talked to the fire chief he uh thanked us uh, for all of our hard work said the grindstone was amazing we told them we'd be back in a few weeks. And uh, here we are. Here we are. Well, I guess we're at the uh, end of the relief phase. It's surreal. It's time, but it's surreal. Been out here almost a month. We've moved thousands upon thousands of yards of debris. I think we've assisted close to, provided ourselves or assisted in close to 10,000 meals. Put 300 tons of dry goods into a warehouse to the point where the National Guard had to get called in. We've hit dozens of sites, helped dozens of people, adopted a homestead, gonna build a lady a house when we come back as long as the father ordains it worked with the emergency management team in a couple different counties worked with lots of firefighters sheriffs 
local law enforcement, county management. Oh, a hundred or so volunteers from the Bear Nation that have come out here to assist. It's kind of bittersweet. I'm ready to go home. But there's still so much to do here. But there's six inches of snow on the ground and it's January. And nobody's building anything here right now. So we'll see what uh, the future holds for Western Kentucky and Grindstone Ministries. And meanwhile, we've got Caleb House to work on. Look at that, the sun's just starting to come out over there. Beautiful. Thank you to every one of you who prayed over this mission, who provided material support and financial support and your labor. Couldn't do it without you. I stay in a constant state of humbled amazement and how big the Father is and what He does. And I'm thankful for you. I'm thankful for your support. I'm thankful for you tolerating all this deployment content I'll tell you I, right now I could care less about prepper content I don't care frankly we've about got that stuff licked doesn't mean we don't have room for improvement but I can only tell you all to stack food and water so many times go train so many times it's kind of got me wondering what's next for me I don't know whatever it is it better be meaningful or I'm not going to waste my time on it praise the father West Kentucky has been very meaningful bless y'all shalom shalom